Will the end of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes show time travel? A planet devastated by a virus, a society controlled by apes, and a world transformed beyond recognition. This is the scenario faced by several astronauts in the Planet of the Apes universe after attempting to return home. The latest Planet of the Apes trilogy introduced us to the rise of the apes as a dominant force in the world. However, unlike the previous films, this series did not focus as much on technological aspects or the fascinating idea of time travel. Many viewers believed that the science fiction elements, especially time travel, had been dropped in the most recent installments. But now it seems that history is about to take a turn, suggesting that the events of the past may be destined to repeat themselves. In this video, we'll be talking about the ending of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the expected arrival of the spaceship Icarus, and time travel. And if you are a fan of the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The new Planet of the Apes movie promises to give a new face to this franchise, with an ape trying to help his society, Noah, the primate who will follow in Caesar's footsteps. But perhaps the story of this film will end as the original film began. To understand how the Planet of the Apes Kingdom will end, we must first understand how time travel and spaceships work in this universe. In the early Planet of the Apes movies, time travel played a crucial role. The astronauts, traveling from what they believed to be their present, found themselves in a dystopian future where apes were the dominant species, but they would not have achieved this travel without the iconic Icarus spaceship. The Icarus spaceship is as iconic in this universe as Caesar or any famous character would be. Designed and built by the American National Space Administration, or ANSA, Icarus was a state-of-the-art spacecraft, powered by a revolutionary photonic propulsion engine. Its design and technology were light years ahead of its time, combining the promise of exploring new frontiers with the mystery of the unknown. Launched on January 14, 1972 from Cape Kennedy, Icarus's mission was bold and ambitious, to travel to another star. The crew, consisting of George Taylor, John Landon, Thomas Dodge and Marianne Stewart, embarked on an odyssey that defied the laws of physics and the perception of time. Their plan was to spend 12 months in suspended animation, with a total of 18 months aboard the ship. However, while they slept, Icarus was propelled 2,000 years into the future, confirming Dr. Haslein's time theory of travel in vehicles approaching the speed of light. Icarus's journey became an odyssey beyond what was planned. At some point, Lieutenant Stewart's stasis capsule failed, resulting in her untimely death. Later, the ship collided with an identical version of itself, sending it on an emergency course back to Earth, culminating in a crash landing in a stagnant salt lake. Upon awakening, the surviving crew found themselves in a drastically changed world. The arrival of Icarus in a dystopian future where apes are the dominant species, is a key moment in the Planet of the Apes saga. But this is something that did not happen in the most recent trilogy and was thought not to ever happen. For a long time, the time travel and space theme in these films was criticized as it was thought that in a way, these films lost their magic when these elements were added. However, the ending of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes could bring us back to this kind of story. In the 2011 film, Origin of the Planet of the Apes, there is a scene where a spaceship called Icarus is shown on television taking off with its crew inside. Later, in a newspaper, it is said that the ship has been lost in space. Although the names of the astronauts are not told in the film, the script suggests that it is the same ship of Commander Colonel George Taylor, the main character in the original 1968 film. The director of the 2011 film, Rupert Wyatt, mentioned that they included the Icarus spaceship as an homage to the 1968 film, where Charlton Heston played Taylor. Although the Icarus mission in the original story took place in 1972, and in the 2011 movie, it seems to take place between 2010 and 2016, they decided to use it as part of the story. So what does all this mean for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? According to the film's synopsis, 
the story centers on an ape named Proximus Caesar, who is trying to build his own empire, on the ashes of human civilization. Proximus Caesar searches for human technology among the ruins, and it is here that we may witness the return of the Icarus spaceship. In the original films, the Icarus spaceship landed in the Forbidden Zone, which was the designated place for its return. It is possible that the modern Icarus spaceship will also end up in these forbidden areas. My theory about the ending of this movie is as follows. The Icarus spaceship is actually suspended in space, and while the events of Caesar and Will were happening on Earth, these astronauts were traveling through time and space. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes could occur perhaps hundreds of years after Caesar, which would be the perfect time for the return of the Icarus spacecraft. I imagine the return of Icarus could be the last scene of the movie. With the ship landing from space, and an astronaut opening the doors of the ship, being surrounded by multiple armed apes. This denouement would open the door for the next Planet of the Apes movie, to follow a similar line to the original movie, where the protagonist finds himself in a world dominated by apes, and has to find out what happened to his ship, and the rest of the planet. I think it would be a great way to start a new phase in this franchise, and would connect in a meaningful way with the original story. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Do you think the Icarus spaceship will return to this universe? Will the next Planet of the Apes movie be about this astronaut in the new world? Leave your comments below. And for more videos about your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Oasis Geek.